Hi. What? What are you smiling for? I'm just... I don't know if you notice it or if it's on purpose. I have no idea. What? Oh, my laptop's not even here. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's some Corbin. I'm Rick. And he calls on Instagram. Instagram and Twitter for juicy content. Hey, so I think it was on Patreon for lunch. I can't read the logo. Okay, squad. Wow, look at that. And I hope you enjoyed that intro. It, it's been around for a little while now. The movie review. We have a specific one for movie reviews. Specific one for interviews now. Yep. I'm hoping for a specific one for every type of video. Yep. Or every language. And now. I don't know how oh. many of you noticed it, but yeah. juicy content's back. Yeah. Ashley's back. I found the file. Yeah. Uh, well, somebody sent it to me. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, today we're doing a movie review, and of our first Gujarati. No, you got to do that. Oh yeah, that's the proper drum roll. Uh, first Gujarati film. Um, this is one of the. I mean, and there's actually a ton of industries we haven't got to, but this is of one course. of the last big, big ones. Right. That we have yet to get to. So thank you for um, so your patience. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> uh, but we are reviewing Hellebrew. Is that how you pronounce it? I, I, I don't know if it's that or if it's Hello Roll. Hello Roll? Yeah, Hello. I don't know. Okay. So you beautiful Gujarati stupid babies can tell us. Anyways, uh, but yes, this is a 2019 film. Um, and Spoilers, everybody, yeah. hey, go watch it. I know actually most of you probably haven't seen it, even in Gujarat probably, because it's one of those style of films. But this is one of those films that, you know, there's a big thing right now of not supporting certain films and supporting other films. Right. This is one of the films you should probably support. Anyways, <laughs> so it's 100% spoiler review. Uh, Rick, your initial thoughts. I have a paragraph. Okay, good. And I have a word before we start. Hold on, let me think of it. Hold on. Nunt. No. Oh, okay. What is that? It's a, just a sound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> No, this is for all the uh, Gujarati stupid babies, which the majority of you who speak Hindi, I think this is a, almost the exact same pronunciation for this word. But if I can summarize this, this film in one word, it is Sundar. Okay. Uh, which is, this means beautiful. Mm. So here's my paragraph. One of the most stunning and magnificent debuts of a writer-director I've ever seen. An absolutely beautiful motion picture at pretty much every level, a folk tale that simultaneously takes you on a journey as whimsical as a magic carpet ride, then suddenly as gut-wrenching in its portrayal of stark reality as the most important of films. Not only one of my favorite films to ever come out of India, but one of my favorite films of all time. Should have been India's submission to the Oscars, and it might very well have won. Yeah, I 100% agree. Go watch this film. That could be the end of the review right there. Goodbye. Just literally. Go watch the okay, freaking this, film. This, We're going to get mad. <laughs> this film This film <laughs> is available, I believe, on MX Player. I believe online. Uh, not for the It United should be on Netflix. Yeah. It should be on Amazon. Yeah. It should be on Hulu. Not for, uh, not for America, but, you know, VPNs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I actually want to thank the producers. They actually, I reached out to them asking because I couldn't find it anywhere and I wanted to watch it and they sent us a, a screener of it. So thank you, this is not a paid review. We don't do that, obviously. Yeah, no. um, But um, I want to thank them. No, uh, they just for, offered for, that for and- For sending it to I us. would, if yeah. I'd been involved in this, I would I'd send this to everybody I possibly so, could. So before we get into it, just go watch it. Please, I, and tell everyone you know to watch it. I know most of you have not seen it, like I said, because and, one, it's a regional. Two, I believe also a lot of people in Gujarati and probably are not as seen it as well because it's an artsy film yeah. style. But and this it, is a film everyone can enjoy around the world. And I notice the views when we do reviews, and I understand it to a certain dimension where if we do something that was more mainstream and we do a review on that, you look 24 hours later and you're going to see 50, 60, 75, 100,000 views on the review. Yeah. And when we do regional films, it's going to be 20, 25,000 at most. Yeah. And hard pressed to ever reach 100,000 views. Yeah. Um, my, what, what will pain me, and I'm anticipating it without being a pessimist, because I'm an optimist by nature, is how many stupid babies are gonna ignore this uh, review because it's, it's Gujarati. This is one of the finest films yes. to ever come out of India. 100%. And one of my favorite films of all time. Yeah. I want my kids to see it. Yeah. I could watch it over and over again. Yes. 
It's yeah. it's it's absolutely it's beautiful. Fantastic. It, it it's actually won a ton of awards um, in the in the circuit in yeah. India. Yeah, it beat out films like. Kumbalaji Nights. It, it should. out in uh, other, uh, what other, I'm drawing a blank, but other films. Super Deluxe. Yeah, but other films we've seen that came out last year. Right. That we loved and raved about. And we were talking about for uh -huh. submission. And remember, for those of you who are around, we were talking about how we felt, because we understand the politics as well, that we felt that Gully Boy was a good selection for India to use. We didn't necessarily think it was the best one as far as the artistry level. We admitted mm -hmm. that. We said yeah. it's a really good movie. And it made sense when you talk about Ranveer, you talk about Alia, names that would be more known. Had we seen this, yeah. we'd have been jumping up and down, I, mm. I think. This is an Oscar style film. This, this is, is what you should have submitted. This is what should go to them. And I really want everyone, I'm not joking. I yeah. immediately put this on my list of one of my favorite films because, I mean, we could, I could talk about it for two hours. Yeah. So let's get into it. Um, and just so you know, there are no flaws with this film. I have, I can't, there's not one. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those reviews. I was like, we're not kidding. While watching it, I was like. It's a pra it's practically perfect in every way. It's yeah. Mary Poppins. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was looking for it. It's one of those films that when you go to, you start, you just got the chills. When you start getting to the end of it, mm. you're like, you're gonna end this as well as it's all been, right? Because what you've done, I, the last time I felt this way about a movie, when it was coming to the end, was Header. Yeah. When I was like, you have done such a perfect, not just good, everything's been so perfect, please don't screw this up. Yeah. I felt that way when, we were, when I knew we got 20 minutes left. I yeah. was like, you have made a masterpiece, please end it right. And when it ended, I, just, I, sat, I sat like I would in a theater, just watching the credits roll, going, yeah, I I want to let you go and talk about it and we'll get into everything. I'm sorry since we're... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Once again, if you're still here and you haven't watched it, watch it. Turn this off. Just, it, this doesn't matter to you right now. Turn it off and go watch it, please. Thank you. Um, and, and don't be distracted. Allow yourself to be absorbed and um, go on the journey. But the, the ending, um, really, really good. It was also one of those moments that, you know, I'm, I'm glad they ended it where it is, but you're also wondering... Okay, what just what happened to them after this? Right, right. Because my I'm not an optimist. I'm a pessimist. I'm like, okay, so right after this, they, they were all they, they all they killed they them all. Killed them all. <laughs> I don't know what. Right. Because I, I know it's folklore, so I don't know what the folklore is after right. it. But I'm, I'm sure there's a bunch of villages like this that you know oppress women um, and, and all this kind of stuff. It happens all around the world. Women have been oppressed since the beginning of time. Yes. Um, so it was, oh, it's still going on just yeah. like that. Yeah. It's uh, it's one of those films that uh, makes you mad, right? It, extremely, extremely mad because of the hypocrisy of it all. The fact that these men who are all goddamn morons, all of them. Not well, our drummer wasn't. No, 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 no. The village people. Sorry, not the, yeah. not the. We'll get to right. the drummer guy. Yeah, uh, uh, and and there was one other advocate in the village, the one who constantly was saying, "See why we have such a great chief? Well, it's because he's actually educated." Right. Uh, <laughs> exactly. But anyways, yeah, the uh, they're all morons, and they oppress women, but they pray to a goddess. Exactly. <laughs> that is the underlining uh, hilarious hypocrisy that they made. That the the. Yeah. the Every single time they press women, and then they're like, "Okay, now we're gonna to pray to the goddess." Yes. After treating their women like absolute like garbage. Garbage. garbage, right? <laughs> so, genius by the writing and directing. Magnificent. Writing. Well, I don't know if that's just, part of the folklore or whatever. The, 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 the writing. Okay, can can we just talk about this? Is this this director, mm -hmm. Abhishek Shaw? This was his debut. First film. God, yeah, I meant that. One of the most extraordinary debuts I've ever seen. If this was a film that had happened here in America, right? People would be talking about picture. who the heck is this person that wrote and directed this film? Mm -hmm. And who are these actors that were in this film? Everyone would be talking about this film. It would be nominated for everything. It would win Best Ensemble at SAG. And they'd be applauded for being these newcomers that just rocked everybody's world. And... The messages of both uh, the, the women, which is powerful, but mm -hmm. also how it's so poetically, beautifully, without a heavy hand, addressed superstition. Mm -hmm. 
and did so in a way that was uh, like, I thought the scene where the, the, the woman had lost her baby. Mm -hmm. And so two of the women in the village who were strident and legalistic yeah. were saying, you know why, we know why it's because of her and because of the women dancing. And she said, why would the goddess punish my innocent because of them mm -hmm. worshiping her? I'll tell you whose fault this is. Mm -hmm. And that was heartbreaking. Unbelievable. That, 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 so that moment sad. when you figured out that, oh, yes, of course it's that. Yes. Um, and I thought she actually had a great line. Uh, that, that woman, I believe, she said something to, uh, along the lines of, if God punished you for all of your sins, there wouldn't be so many men in the world. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that. And I was like, dang, that's good. That's, that's good. All, all the wars in the world have been started by men. Uh, <laughs> just a little, little tidbit for and you. And let's just rape. I yeah. think it's highly weighted into the males being yeah. the predominant. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. But let's, oh God, I want to talk about all of them. Um, but let's talk about the drummer man. Uh, what is his name? Because I can't find his picture here. What was his name? What was his name? Uh, is this him? I think that's Muji, right? J.S. Moore? Muji? I think it was Muji. Um, or was it... Oh, pus. I think it was Muji. I think it was. Uh, but the, the, the guy who played the drummer, man, was he fantastic. Fantastic. Oh, my God. <laughs> in, a, in a very difficult role to pull off. Mm -hmm. Because you could be... If you're not a good, trained actor, you could come across so... Uh, melodramatic, feigning insanity. Mm -hmm. uh, he had to literally. He, it reminded me of the difficulty of what Russell Crowe had to do in Gladiator. If you haven't seen Gladiator, cover your ears for ten seconds. I'll point when you can take your ears back off. When he shows back up and mm -hmm. he sees his family, mm -hmm. right? Okay, now you can uncover uh, <laughs> that. That is very hard to do mm -hmm. and be believable. Mm -hmm. There. There wasn't anybody in this film, for any frame of film, I didn't believe. Oh, 100%. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody was fantastic. Every, I felt. And I don't know if they were all non-actors. Right. Or if, they were, or if they were actual actors and they just, I don't think they put makeup on, at least didn't look like they put makeup on any of the women. No, and, and the just how many moments were so beautifully shot where all you hear is the tinkling of the water mm -hmm. the bits, basins they're carrying. Or they're walking out and all you hear are the goats bleeding and it, they're doing their thing. And uh, every single one of the women, I believed, little girl to oldest, that I read that that village, they built it. It didn't exist. They oh, built really? that village for this. So, so everything about this is created, but I felt like we were dropped in to this actual village with these actual, in the same way that this is a high compliment. I felt the characters in this were as believable as the characters in Fiddler on the Roof. Mm. That after years of watching it, I don't even think of Topol anymore. I just see Tevye. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, these, I believe this is a village in India and mm -hmm. this is a real tribe with these real issues and we just got to sneak in and be a fly on the wall. Mm -hmm. The music. Yeah. Oh, the, the songs and oh. the music were so fantastic. Oh. And this whole thing. Uh, so the composer, uh, hold on, say his name? Uh, Mahul Sorti. Mahul Sorti, you did a fantastic job. Magnet, uh, everything in this was Oscar level. Yeah, um, but the, 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 the drummer man I want to talk about again, um, I thought his, his character was so fantastic because he, he showed up and you get, you get, you knew the, the new girl was going to give him water because of course you know, she's she's uh, right. she's not been scarred by all these men right. yet right um, but when she gave him the water and then their whole relationship because obviously the women they don't want to get in trouble they don't want to get hurt so yeah, like, they're going to get the crap beat out of them even them like all them not talking to another woman who's just a a widow a widow yeah uh, which is so stupid for the men to be like don't that well I'm just like I just tell the women not to talk to her Wh what <laughs> what right I don't <laughs> because when you've lost your spouse what you really need is to be isolated and alone I mean that is clearly the height of all yeah so she did health. fantastic but yeah the, his whole when you when you find out about him you just I I, I would have it would be really difficult for me to believe he's not a thespian oh he's got to be trained 
He, he got to be trained. He seems to be a, if he's not a legend in Gujarati cinema, I'm sure he's been doing theater for a gotta long time. Got to be trained. Time. Yeah. Uh, he's just, he has one of those presents. He has that, the talent. That yep. He, it's one of those things, like when you see um, uh, Manoj, or when you see uh, other or actors, or, yeah. you're like, they know what they're doing. Yep. I'm sure they've trained yep. for a long, long time. He's He gives me that vibe. And his whole trajectory with, you know, you're thinking, you know, he, he's gone crazy a little bit. And, you know, he has. He's looking for his, oh, his wife man. And, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then the the end uh, the part where he just, he wants to be burned alive. That's what I was just thinking To be of. with his... Uh, to, just like he, just like they went. he felt bad that he wasn't burned alive with his uh, wife and daughter. Um, but yeah, he. I'm, I don't know if he learned that or if he knew right. it as well. It was convincing to me. It's very least. convincing. <laughs> and you know, I can be critical about the music, the musicianship. You know that, don't you? Well, he's he's <laughs> hyper critical of piano um, because he knows how to play piano. True, but I, I'm also whenever I see somebody playing, you know, like in Whiplash, for the majority of the time, they get that 100 percent accurate. So you mm -hmm. can you can tell if it's uh, but fake. Yeah, he was great. Was so so good. Um, I loved their relationship with him. The fact that in the beginning he turned around so that they could dance so they wouldn't feel with his back to them yeah with yeah. his eyes on just to say thank you yeah uh and then obviously the main girl the the new girl yes. she was the main one but all of them were fantastic uh she has she all of them have great presence beautiful screen presence all, all of them all of them are very beautiful have great screen presence and all like if they're not actors this is some of the greatest performance by a first-time director and hundred percent because a lot of them don't have pictures on imdb and so sometimes that means that they're right they're new that right. not always um but the fact like if this is they're all new that's insane Th this really this is one of those things okay let's pound the pavement um the way that Corbin and I have felt forever mm -hmm. about film in America before we were exposed to India, right? Whenever it became Oscar time, we did this last year, mm -hmm. when the films that aren't the big commercial box office things get all of the attention, but a movie like Lighthouse mm -hmm. is ignored. Yeah. It pisses us off. Yeah. Because we love the industry, but we love the art form way, way more. Mm -hmm. we can, we can, there doesn't even need to be an industry. People are gonna make the films, and people are gonna watch them. Mm -hmm. uh, this for me is the perfect example, and we've had quite a few mm -hmm. from regionals. Yeah. But man, oh man, oh man, if this doesn't get you fired up and make you jump up and down and scream for the world to pay attention and for all of India to pay attention and go, would you please look at and celebrate the magnificence that's happening around you that should be getting the attention? This is the kind of stuff that needs to be made and put in theaters and reach, you know, box offices of a hundred times its success this and people are get, talking about it. and to get seen by as many people that saw War. Way more. Yeah. Uh, you should flip the attention. Yeah. It's, war should have gotten the attention this did. <laughs> and this should have gotten the attention War did. And we like War. It was a yeah. fun... There's popcorn fun movies. You but let's, both. Let's talk about some other films that were just pure crap. Yeah. That people went and spent the money to see and actually say is a good film... And nobody knows about this film? Yeah. Um, and I don't know also if it equal, because it came out really, I remember when it, the, the trailer, it was like end of November, I think, that when the first trailer came out for this. Yeah. So I don't even know if it qualified for the, and we're just speaking from Americans, like I said, we, we know most of you don't care about the Oscars and that's fine. This is a selfish thing. I don't even know if it qualified for last year's Oscar because it came out so late. Um, or if it had a, another right. long enough run, right? But if it's not, possible. try to get it in. <laughs> yeah, if for I don't know. Yeah, if it didn't and it can, I don't know. I just know every single one of you. I watch every foreign film every year. This would this would have wiped oh, the floor last year. Wiped the floor. Yeah, wiped the floor. And what I would have been mad based on everything I saw from last year. I would have been mad at that as it, as wonderful and fun and quirky and uh, groundbreaking as Parasite was. Mm -hmm. If someone said to me, the rest of your life, you have to watch this film or Parasite, I'd say, but it's not even a contest. Mm -hmm. Not even a contest for me. Yeah. Uh, uh, even Kambalaji Night, I love that movie, but if I had to choose uh, I, this one for me. Well, it depends on the for mood. For me. Depends on the mood. Yeah, <laughs> totally understand that. But this one for me is, it's about as good as movie making gets. Well, yeah, uh, I think they're both basically 
A pluses yeah. uh, in terms of filmmaking. Um, this, every I, I can't rave enough about all the actors being absolutely brilliant, brilliant. unbelievable. Wonderful. Um, the, the cinematography. Oh yeah. The, 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 so many nighttime things. And I'm sure this was shot on a shoestring budget, I'm sure, but it didn't look like it. Not at all. And sound, so many times, even the attention to detail, I've got it for Abhishek Shaw and your editor and your sound people, the attention to detail. There were numbers of times when the men and the women were dancing and hand claps were involved. Mm -hmm. And it always matched the music, always, mm -hmm. every single time. And the difference in the way that they were directed when the difference in them first dancing and what that was like versus them having the joint in their homes and then the defiance in the final dance in the rain. Mm -hmm. and the power of that and uh, I'm getting emotional thinking about our drummer guy in the rain looking up you know this is one of those films that it, you get invested really totally. easily really quick uh, well it's it's not hard you know there's a bunch of women who are extremely oppressed by a bunch of moronic men uh, and so it's it's easy to root for them but the film does a good job at, at, at emotionally investing you uh, in it, obviously, I, I got like you got the feels when you you got to know about the drummer's story and his family and right. that he couldn't save them. Right. And then, but he and then he wants to be burned because you know I I would feel all those same things if you know my family of course. burned up in fire and you're like you, why you, didn't I burn up? Like, right. <laughs> I could absolutely see wandering in the wilderness like where am I you know traumatized. Yeah. And by the way. For all of the men that played the dicks in the movie, fantastic job! You did a fantastic job. Oh, yeah, we're calling your characters dicks, right? Not you. <laughs> you did a. You did your job. You did your and job. You did. Just like Umbridge. This is all the thing I right. Bring Umbridge up. and Harry Potter. One of the most detestable characters ever in cinema <laughs> is Umbridge from Harry Potter. Right. But the reason is because that actress did one of the best jobs I've ever seen. Absolutely. But I despise. despise. I can, it's hard for me to watch that film because I hate her so much. Which, which was very important because if these, if the men had done too much mm -hmm. and been over the top, mm -hmm. uh, it would have been cliched and it would have ruined the movie. But because they were really believable, I thought it was really interesting that her wife, the main one's wife, uh, husband, sorry, um, was actually. Uh, it will use an army, so it means uh -huh. he's actually seen some stuff. Right, but he still had these warped views. Right, uh, from obviously I'm sure growing up here. Sure, um, but even he, usually just like that one guy who the the advocate guy. I, I forget their name. Right. I apologize. Yeah, you know he's gone to the city, and Correct. so you you get to you know see different points of view. You right. get to oh women have rights, crazy, uh, right. <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. And to, and to even question, like back to the superstition side of things, mm -hmm. which there's a difference, and I'm not gonna wax along on that, but there's a difference between having something that's a belief that's grounded in something superstitious versus something that's faith-based based on fact. And uh, it, it doesn't have to be definitively factual in order for it to be a, a verifiable belief. But the, 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 the concept of questioning what you believe, you know, at least, Having having a moment and being able to recognize, you know, what? Why do I believe what I believe? Mm -hmm. Why do we do what we do? Well, you don't question that because you're afraid to lose the power. Mm -hmm. uh, you're afraid to be wrong. Yep. Uh, all that's a, one of the most powerful things in this as well. Mm -hmm. Just I gotta try. There's nothing bad about this. Costuming. Lighting, sound, music, direction, I, I art don't, direction. I don't know if it has it. Production uh, design, editing. I'm sure. Okay, so it says gross is 141,000. Like I said, I'm sure these numbers are always wrong on IMDb, but I'm sure it's close to that because this is one of those films that not a lot of people go to see, which right. is a shame. It's a shame because I'm also sure this wasn't. This was probably shot on a shoestring budget, but like Amis, who shot on a shoestring budget. It, and video quality, it sometimes looks like it was, right? It did sometimes. Yeah. And you're that, that totally diminish, forgiving. It doesn't diminish the film. Not at all. It, we love that film. <laughs> this didn't even look like it, but I'm sure it no. had the similar budget <laughs> that Amis had. No, this, yeah, when we, when we say it was Oscar quality, we're talking about the fact that this, this could be held up frame for frame to any of the films that were nominated last year at every level we're just talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, the quality of it, including... You're absolutely right. Yeah, it the was visual gorgeous. quality of the it film was, was 
gorgeous. Beautiful, every frame. And so many beautiful combinations. Like, I loved when they told us about the drummer's story with his daughter and his wife. He didn't dumb us down. He assumed our intelligence as an audience and just immediately, I, I had to ask myself, oh, wait a minute, we're at, oh, got it, we're flashback. And I mm -hmm. love that he knew we were smart enough to track with him. So this did win the National Film Award of India. So the, and that's like the, the top of the line one, I think. As in it India. deserves. Um, and I think it, I think it beat out like, um, I just want. I just want to see. See what else. I know Combology Nights was uh, up. Hold on. Sorry, I just. I just want to know. Right. Who else it was up against? Uh, well, if it was 2019 and at the National Film Awards, clearly Gully Boy. Or do they do it? That, that it just won the regional thing which would be nice to see them just celebrate all of India. Yeah, I don't know what it was, um, but it, it beat out um, a ton of films that were fantastic. Yeah, that I'm sure were all really good. From, from last year, uh, including Kumbalaji Nights, which you know how much I freaking love that, love movie, that movie. And I think it's oh, one of the best films I've ever seen. Um, and it, it still is, even with this. It's just obviously a very different style totally of film. Totally different style of film. <laughs> which you can have both, which is why your film was so lovely. Exactly. Uh, but like you said, we love this movie. It's so fantastic. Uh, we'd love to see so much more Gujarati cinema. Oh. Um, and any cinema. And you know, this we man, just, yeah. this, this writer, director, please, please do more. You are gifted. Um, you were made to, to, to make films. Uh, you created an absolutely, spectacularly beautiful film. And Stupid Babies, please, 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 watch this film, share this film. If you don't feel the same way we do about it, I will be completely shocked. Yeah. If you don't see what Unless you're one movie. of those people that uh, you know, has a low intelligence and thinks it's boring. Can't help that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. If you, I mean, if you like, if you just like films that are like war. Yeah, I, there, I, I mean, there are some people. I guess. I, I know people mm -hmm. who all they want to see, like using an American film, I'm thinking of somebody I know who, uh, and Lighthouse isn't a good comparison because I understand Lighthouse is very, compared to this. Oh yeah. This is, this is so universally. Oh. It's uh, digestible. It's seen by anybody. But life. but they would rather see a Jason Statham film than this. Uh, <laughs> so I just vomited yeah. a little. You're bit gonna have that. you're gonna have people like that. But man, oh man, I want our world to be a place that celebrates this mm -hmm. more than it does just commercial bombast. So yeah, we liked it a little bit, <sighs> just a little. <laughs> it's funny. I knew you. I didn't even oh, doubt yeah. you would. Feel, oh, yeah, yeah, it's obvious when you when you. When you see greatness in cinema, it's very easy to recognize. <laughs> it's simple. Uh, but let us know the next Gujarati film we should watch. Uh, I don't know if this man has done anything else um, or if it's, uh, I, I've seen a few names uh, of, let's see, Wrong Side of Raju, I think is one. Uh, and there's others, obviously. Uh, but I know it's a small industry like Punjab. Right. Well, so um, boy, oh boy, do you guys have big shoes to fill with your number two that comes from Gujarati cinema. <laughs> so who's going to follow Hellaroo? Let us know down below.